Okay, it's uh, Jason here at the Centre for Computing History, and if you're wondering what you're looking at, uh, we have James here who is getting this thing working. James, tell us a little bit about what we're up to. Hello, so we've just started recommissioning the metaprocessor. Um, we've got two frames uh, joined together and switched on at the moment. Um, to test them, I throw random data at it and uh, wait till it gets to the right. Uh, so here we can get the test going. Obviously, the, um, the data came through it in testing, and when it gets the little answer, which is around about 50,000 cycles into the test at this moment for our first bug, uh, it will um, be able to see that the uh, registers haven't got the value which match the simulation software. And it's getting the simulation and the hardware to match each other, which just um, counts as a successful uh, test. Fantastic. So, so the first frame. Is all tested positive, and that's uh, all yeah, good. That went through. Um, so we've got the second something. one did. And, um, Any ideas? No. I, was, I went through and had to check the connectors at the beginning, and right. a couple have come disconnected. Um, it may be that I didn't get all of the connectors, um, but my guess is it's going to be a dry solder joint somewhere which got shaken free in the journey here. Right, because we've had all this on the back of a big Luton van. Um, you know, we're only looking at a couple of the, the frames here, but it does just go on and on and on into the background that's memory right over there um, but actually kind of doubles up as a display as well because every single memory location has an LED um, so if you can write uh, data to a memory location you can get an LED to turn on and therefore you've got a display um, so this is being set up at the moment um, it's probably going to take a, a good few days to get this working um, or working again um, in that sense it's been moved mm -hmm. uh, but it's an, an amazing absolutely amazing thing to see you know, actually, the video is not going to do this justice. You can only see a little bit at a time. Um, but, uh, but the complexity is, is, is huge. It might only just be transistors. Um, and the, basically, this is a microprocessor laid bare. Um, you know, every single part of the microprocessor represented here in transistors and LEDs. Um, but actually, the sheer complexity of, of doing that is staggering. So there's lots of wires. This is what we're looking at here. Um, is uh, the, the, the test system for it. It allows us to connect it to a PC and uh, check out what's going on. Do you want to add anything to that? Yeah, so it's driven by a PC, it's an interface card in there, uh, so it brings out lots of connectors. Basically, it's lots of I.O. to probe into the middle of the mega processor, so you can see, drive data into it and read what's coming out, so you can do a comparison with what it should be. Right. So there's uh, about a thousand lines of I.O., I think. And just to be clear, this, although there is a PC hooked up to it here, um, we don't need a PC to make this work. This is a, uh, you know, a PC, a processor in itself. Um, so we'll be able to run code on this system yep. um, without the aid of a, any kind of PC. It is its own thing. Um, so the PC you see there is a bit of a red herring. That's not part of it uh, in, the, uh, in the normal runnings of things. So this is going to be fantastic because we're going to use this for um, teaching, getting schools involved um, and uh, showing them exactly what a processor is. People might have seen the big... Uh, ARM processor that we have out in the main gallery, um, the 25 meter square uh, ARM processor, which is really interesting. But this thing's real. This is a working processor. You can see every single connection, every single AND gate, OR gate, everything um, is all there to be seen working. So, um, really quite spectacular. We're really excited to have this at the museum. So, uh, thanks, James. Um, we're going to come back to you uh, sort of uh, as and when. Um, in a minute, we've got this little problem to sort out, which will be sorted out, I'm sure. Um, but otherwise, just feast your eyes on this. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, so when all these panels are lit up... Um, well, 10,000 LEDs. Yeah, we, how many? 10,000 LEDs. 10,000 LEDs. Um, OK, I'm not going to think about the electric bill. Um, actually, it should be that bad. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty impressive. I think you'll agree. So... There you go. Thank you very much, James. Um, we'll let you get back to your, to your work. Um, that's two panels, uh, three, four, uh, another, what, five to do. Mm -hmm. So uh, you've already been here two days, it should be said. So yesterday was all setting this thing up um, and getting it actually upright and, and uh, in position. Uh, and now we've got some time involved in getting every single part working. So, yeah, there you go. There's some of the, uh, the detail of the, the boards here. Um, and every single bit is explained uh, there, so bit tests and all the gates, and then you can see the uh, actual numeric values there to help see what's going on. 
So there's one of the adders. Two adders, another one up the top there. General purpose registers over here. Again, every single one with its own LED. So we can actually slow this thing right down. Um, to about a hertz, I believe, is it? Uh, slow down? Hertz. You can do one pulse a minute. Okay, right. Or you can single step. Right, there you go. So you can single step this thing and then you'll be able to see every single thing change. Um, I can't think of a better uh, demonstration of a microprocessor working than this. So I'm um, really, really excited. So there you go. Um, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll let you know more about what's going on as soon as we can. Thanks a lot. Thanks, James. Cheers. See you soon.